Okay, three quick examples to show you how to multiply fractions. First of all, fairly straightforward, 3 quarters times 9 elevenths. When we're times in fractions, we multiply the tops and we multiply the bottoms. So this is going to be equal to 3 times 4, that's the tops multiplied, properly called the numerators, by the denominators or the bottoms multiplied, which is 12 over 44. That'd be my first answer. I'm now going a little bit of simplifying. I can halve that to be 6 over 22. I can halve that to be 3 over 11. That's as far as I can go. Final answer. Second example. I've now got 1 and 2 thirds times 3 and 1 half. I need to change it to top heavy fractions so I can actually do the multiplication. So 1 and 2 thirds. In that 1 there are 3 thirds, so a total of 5 thirds. Some people would say that's the same as 3 thirds and another 2 thirds, which is 5 thirds. Anyway, 5 thirds times how many halves in 3? 6 and another 1? 7 halves. Times the tops, times the bottoms. which gives me 35 over 6. That's a top-heavy fraction, so I need to simplify that. How many 6s in 35? Well, 5 6s are 30, so that's 5 in the 30, and 5 remaining, 5 and 5 6. The last one I've included here is some a tricky one sometimes for some people. That's 6 times 4 7th. It's 6 1ths. So you could write that as 6 1 times 4 7 And as soon as you sit like that, it's dead easy. 6 times 4 divided by 1 times 7. 6 4 is 24. 1 7 is 7. So it's 24 over 7. How many 7s in 24? Well, in 21 there are 3, and that would be 3 remaining. So 3 and 3 7 That's it for multiplying fractions. Fairly straightforward. I'm going to move on now to talk about division of fractions. I've got an example here for you. When we're dividing fractions, we're going to remember sharing out the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC. Keep it. Flip it. Change it. And that refers to, keep the first one. Flip the second, and then change the sign to a multiply. Then it's what we just did before. 6 times 10, 7 times 9. 6 times 10, 7 times 9. Now both of those are divisible by 3, I think. Or oh, they've both got 6 in them, 7, 9, 63. I want to be able to simplify that, but I'm having a bad brain moment at the minute. There's something now I want to be able to simplify by. Maybe I can't. I could divide them both by 9, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there for a second. I'll come back when I can think about it. This one here, 4.5 divided by 7 and a third. Again, the problem here is you've got mixed numbers. Change to, to top heavy fractions. 4 twos are 8, so that's the same as 8 9 halves divided by 3 sevenths of 21, and the other one is 22, 22 thirds. Now let's go for it. K, F, C. Keep it, flip it, change it. Keep it, flip it, change it. And that becomes 9 times 3 divided by 2 times 22, which equals 3 nines of 27 over 44. I'm fairly sure for that one, we can't simplify that one any more than we have done already. I'm still worried about this one over here. I'm just going to have another think about that one. Of 
course, I can divide them both by 3, which gives me 20 over 21. Sorry about that, a little problem there. And this one, 27 divided by 44. Well, 27's only got 3 and 9 as factors. I'm not going to get any further than that. That there's going to be my final answer. Hope that's helpful to you. Very quick summary. If you're multiplying fractions, you times the tops, you times the bottoms. If you're dividing fractions, you KFC it, keep it, flip it, change it, and then treat it as a normal multiplication. Good luck with those questions.